So it is Bible fairy tale time with the story of Joseph and his fabulous gay pride coat. So once upon a time. Joseph's father gave him the first gay pride themed coat ever with all of the colours of the rainbow in it to celebrate Joseph's coming out. But Joseph's brothers hated him because they were your original Bible Belt anti-gay conservatives who thought that a real tough man should sleep with a gentle submissive woman whereas wanting to sleep with a great big burly guy? How soft can you get? Then Joseph told his brothers of the dreams that he'd had where his brothers had bowed down before him and Joseph had ruled over them all. But then his brothers had turned into broccoli and started chasing him. But he wasn't him, he was a mouse, but with a whip for a tail and pink fuzzy ears. And then his first grade teacher had turned up and started yelling at him because he hadn't done his homework. And no matter how much he'd tried to explain that he couldn't do his homework because he was a mouse, his teacher kept screaming at him. And then his teeth had fallen out and he was wearing no pants. Do you think this dream means anything? And Joseph's brothers hated him even more and decided to kill him. Partly because they did not like the idea of Joseph ruling over them. But mainly because anybody who describes their dreams in excruciating detail like that deserves to die. But Joseph's eldest brother, who was training to be a psychologist, so didn't mind hearing about the dreams, convinced the rest of the brothers not to kill Joseph, but to instead just steal his coat and throw him into a pit. Then the brothers dipped the coat into some animal blood so that they could show it to their father and pretend that Joseph had been killed by a wild animal. And not because they were actually gay themselves and wanted to wear the coat because don't you think the colours make my eyes pop? And then Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery and Joseph was taken to Egypt. And God did nothing to stop this. Which isn't surprising as anybody who is familiar with God's morals knows that while loving someone of the same sex is evil, slavery always seems to be absolutely fine. I'm just the son of a carpenter and I don't want anything from you except for your eternal love and 